The team went through planning, design, and testing just to get ready for the competition. Let's see how they did. The final report by the Trojan Rabbits. Gabriel, Tiffany, Liz, and Josh. The challenge is to create a safe machine that can successfully defeat the Black Knight, collect shrubbery, and deliver holy hand grenades more efficiently than competitors in their arena. The goal involves achieving the maximum amount of points to place first by also retrieving the Holy Grail. The Black Knight is a rubber dog toy which weighs 10 grams. It must be removed from the home zone in order to prevent a negative 13 point addition to the team's score. The shrubbery or tennis balls must be gathered from the edges of the home zone quickly before other teams strike. Each shrub is worth seven points to the team's score. Six holy hand grenades will be provided to the team. These ping pong balls must be delivered to each of the four entrances to the Beast Slayer. The ultimate goal of the team is to retrieve the Holy Grail from the center of the Beast Slayer before another team does. The Holy Grail is worth an additional 30 points to the team score. Our chosen design is the two-step, also known as Ginger. This is because it deploys in two steps. The first deployment is the extension of the shrubbery arms, which are pushed outwards by the activation of two individual pistons. The shrubbery arms are in a T-shape in order to efficiently scoop in the tennis balls. They also have a slot where they connect in order to box efficiently and be flexible enough to scoop inward. The next deployment comes from the grenade chute, which is released to accomplish the task of placing the holy hand grenades in the beast layer entrances. The grenade chute is attached to two sliders angled downwards toward the layer. Initially, the chute is held by a pen. A solenoid is activated shortly after the shrubbery arms are released in order to pull the mouse trap, which yanks a pin out of the chute, allowing gravity to pull the system down and out towards the beast layer via the slides. First, the, fly, the slides fall, and once they release to full extension, momentum pulls the secondary slide out. The slides are angled so that the grenade chute comes right up to the layer. A turnstile is attached to the end in order to turn by, by the force of the walls. After 28 seconds, the egress winch turns for 7 seconds to pull the chute back along the slides in order to return to the blast zone carrying the Black Knight hook. The Black Knight hook is designed and cut at the right length and angle so that it scoops up the Black Knight to egress with the winch. The grail arm is attached to the grenade chute system. It travels alongside it to the beast layer, where mouse trap activates it and extends the grail loop to capture the holy grail and winch it back in with the other systems. Under box number one is the pincher. It uses drawer slides and gravity to its advantage by extending a platform to the beast layer, allowing the turnstile to reach the entrances. Force from the walls hitting the turnstile cause it to move, allowing a ping pong ball to easily fall at each entrance. Two T-joints are propelled forward with the force of a pneumatic piston and long bar. The momentum allows the joints to fall along the line of shrubbery, which is then reeled in with a winch system. Scissor arm can also be used to reach in, pinch the holy grail, and retrieve it. Under box number two is a slider. It uses silicon fingers which swing down and over the holy grail to encapture it. The sweeping arms swing from the base outwards to push the tennis balls into the home zone. The force of mouse traps and movement of the double wheeled caster base spin the shrubs inward. A double drawer slide distance is utilized to extend the ball channel and turnstile to the beast layer. The scooper is designed to pick up the black knight with a force from the motion of the falling drawer slides. Then the drawer slide system will be drawn back in with a winch to pull the Black Knight into the home zone. Under box number three is the expansion. It makes use of a wide platform to add stability and reach the machine. The platform starts in the upward position and is lowered into place via winches at the back corner of the base. These winches also pull the platform back in at the end of each round. The components required for completing the four tasks are all attached to this platform which also serves as an extension of the base. This allows for arms to reach a shorter distance, which increases the stability while making the machine simple to construct. This design was determined to be slower than the rest of the designs, which would result in the team losing out on points.
Under box number 5 is a double slider. It features a horizontal slide to push the grill arm and the ping pong holder to the beast layer. A secondary slide extends to position the ping pong holder correctly. The slide would be activated by a pair of pistons to give the slider its initial momentum, which would allow the secondary slide to fall on its own. This design features a grill arm mounted to the platform on top of the slide. The arm has a suction cup at the end of that inserts the grill and grips it, allowing the machine to pull it into the home zone. Under box number four is the four bar design. The most notable part of this design is how the aspects of it extend from the platform, which acts as a stable base so the machine can complete the objectives. It is activated with two pistons connected by a ram bar, which pushes the arm of the four bars forward. The holy hand grenades are held in place with a ping pong holder, which is made of PVC piping and a turnstile. The turnstile ensures that grenades remain fastened from rolling out and are dispensed one at a time. The system is contained on the underside of the four bar platform. On the top of the platform is a jellyfish net. The rod and net will be thrown over the beast layer, utilizing movement from the four bars swinging forward, which ensnares a holy grail. The net will remain over the grill until the end of the match, bringing the grill to the home zone later. The shrubbery arms located at the two front quarters of the base begin the match folded up and are thrown out from the force of the four bar. These land on the opposite side of the tennis balls and pull them into the home zone. The final component is the black knight hook, which is attached to the frontmost forearm via a pivot. When the four bar is winched back in, the Black Knight hook will be carried inside the home zone along with the Holy Grail. If you remember what happened last week, the team decided to go with Design 4, the four bar design, due to its efficiency in comparison to the four alternatives. When trying to implement this design, it was un unable to be actuated due to the large force needed to lift the four bars up in order to complete the tasks. After scrapping the four bar design, the team went back to the drawing board. Which design should they choose? This design derives its name from the fact that it deploys in two steps. The shrubbery arms deploy first, followed by the grenade system. Through design and testing, we determined that this machine best accomplishes the goals of defeating the Black Knight, throwing the hand grenades, collecting the shrubbery, and retrieving the Holy Grail. The machine consists of four main systems, shrubbery arms, the grenade chute, the Black Knight hook, and the Holy Grail arm. The team got to work to quickly develop this system in time for the competition. Unfortunately, the team was unable to incorporate the Grail arm, which is why we are left with this design. The team focused on making sure these three systems were put together in order to ensure that the machine could complete the objectives needed for the problem. The two-step design was completed on time before November 11th. Here it is, shown ready for the competition. In the first round, we tied for third due to a inactivated drawer slide. In the second round, we got disqualified due to a single drop of WD-40. The design can be improved by adding more stability features and doing more preliminary testing to figure out what things may go wrong that we couldn't anticipate. Thanks for coming on this journey with the Trojan Rabbits.